today I will give this to every one of you. Maybe take one ayat and figure out the meaning. I will help you, inshallah. So we start with Brother Umar. Mm -hmm. The first ayah, Inna alladheena ajramu kanu min alladheena amanu yadhakoon. What is the meaning of Inna? Inna, indeed. Indeed, alladheena. Those. Those people, yes. Mm -hmm. Ajramu. Uh, ajramu is the one I'm, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Transgress. Okay, let me give, uh, give, you, give him a hint first. It, it is from Jurum. The root word is Jurum. Jurum. Okay. Are you familiar with the word Jurum in Arabic? No. no. Jurum is like crime. Okay. When people, they commit okay. crime. Mm -hmm. So, jur, this is the meaning of Jurum. Okay. So, now what is your guess? Ajramu. Ajramu. Uh, inna ladina, inna indeed alladina those ajramu who committed crimes. Very good. You got it. <laughs> okay. Kanu, uh -huh. they, they, they were. Yes, they used to. They used to. <coughs> they used to be from the, from those mm -hmm. amanu mm -hmm. that uh, who who are believers. Yes. Yadhakuna, they were laughing. Yes, yadhakun means laughing, making fun of. Making right? fun of. Yeah. Uh -huh. So now, how can you translate the whole ayah again? Uh, uh, in indeed. Mm -hmm. Those uh, who uh, those who committed sins mm -hmm. used to be mm -hmm. from uh, uh, from those who who are believers mm -hmm. uh, used to laugh mm -hmm. at the, the believers. Yes. So this is the thing that we still see in this time, our time, and from all the time. Always these uh, people who are uh, culprits. Sinners, non-believers, they were laughing, making fun of Muslim people, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling this, that this is something that is always there. That they are laughing at the Mu'mineen, they are uh, making mockery mm -hmm. of those uh, Anbiya alim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and uh, the faithful people, the believers. Okay. So this is the description of they are sin that they were doing. So the part of the sin is that also. Right? Mm -hmm. What is the root word for Yad Hakum? Dihak. Bad Hakaf. Dihak in Arabic means to laugh. And this word has been repeated most often in the Quran. Mm -hmm. uh, Allah says in the Surah Tawafal Yad Haku Kalila Wal Yaku Kathira. Mm -hmm. People, they should laugh little. And they should cry more no. uh, um, because of the khawf of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of the fear of the day of judgment. Mm -hmm. okay. Next ayah. Waiza and when? When, other means when? Marru. Mm -hmm. I don't know what marru is. Okay, marru means to pass by. Like when you are walking, you are passing by someone. That is called marru. Be him. Hmm. With them. With them. Yeah. And when these uh, sinners, whenever they pass by the mu'mineen. They made mockery of them. Ah. Now they this is a kind of mockery not by their mouth, but by winking the eyes. They wink their eye on them. Like well, they are looking at each other, the <coughs> sinners, Yarhamukallah. <coughs> and the way they are looking at them is the Sarcastic humiliation. Looks. Sarcastic looks. Sarcastic looks, yes. Dirty looks. So this is, yeah, the, the root word of Yatagamazun is from Ghamza. Ren Mimza Ghams. That is translated in English as wink. Mm. Okay, Brother Kanishka, next. <coughs> and ask me, everyone else, if any word is not clear to you, you can ask me, inshallah. Oh. Mm. Um, and when um, they okay. return... Ha, very good. In Qalabu means to go back, to return, like... You are uh, right now out of your home. You are, you know, visiting the masjid, mashallah. You 
are not at home after some time you will return to your home so when you go back your home that is called inqalabu okay so wa idha inqalabu when they return uh, to ahlihim huh? to their people to their people or to their home to their home ha ahl means your own people it could be your family or your own people is it from the same word urdu that they have ahl yes i say ahlu ayal same yes so ahl is not the word of urdu it is arabic word it was used in urdu <laughs> yes um so they return home yan qalbu faqihin and they return faqihin i don't know faqihin okay faqihin in english we translate as jesting jesting like making you know of fun and whatever they did outside with the mu'minin because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about those people who are yes boasting about what they did also. boasting about what they did and happy faqihin you can say easy understanding happy mm. happy faqihin mm. yes uh, mm, uh, okay ha ah. وإذا رأوهم قالوا إن هؤلاء إلى ضالون وإذا وين رأوهم they see the believers when they saw the when believers, they saw the believers mm-hmm. قالوا they say mm-hmm. إن indeed yeah. هؤلاء yeah. those those believers لا yeah. ضالون they are indeed lost ah they gone astray, astray. so they made the case just the opposite mm-hmm. they are the one who are lost yani non believers but they say to the mu'minin that these people are lost mm-hmm. okay yeah they say that to their uh, to their people who they met before right so when they go back to their own people they say that these mu'minin they are gone astray mm-hmm. okay. and ra'uhum is from ra'a ru'yat ru'yat mm-hmm. means to see someone So whenever they saw them they said that these mu'minin are lost ladallun yes brother bilal wa ma ursilu alayhim 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 hafidin ma is okay ma is called for negation like ma nafia for negation not wa ma ursilu and ursilu is from like uh, is from irsal to send okay so they were not sent allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that these non believers they have not been sent on the mu'minin as guardian hafizin ha hafizin as guardian and why they are making or passing these all yes. sarcastic remarks and comments i did not send them as guardian to the believers who are they to decide that uh, these mu'minin are lost and uh, they are not doing good on all that right mm-hmm. and this happened in the period when our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam sallallahu alaihi wasallam yes was in makkah or in madina uh, in makkah because this is a makkah okay. mm-hmm. but it is applicable to every time <coughs> you know right now so wama ursilu they were not sent Mm-hmm. and by us by us alaihim alaihim on the mu'minin yeah. hafizin as watchers as watchers <coughs> yes if for hafiz is from hifaza ah. hifz yeah and hifz also is yes. hifz so, is learning the quran hmm so what is the quran so <laughs> yeah actually Securing? there is Securing. the same same root for the hifz of the quran also okay. the literal meaning of hifz to observe So what the Hafiz does, he is always observing the Quran by repeating, by memorizing. He is observing. So the literal meaning of Hafiz is to observe. Yes. It's not to protect, like you're protecting the Quran also. You're you're, you're learning it and you're just protecting. It. Yes. <coughs> Hafiz in guardian also, like you said, protector. Right. So as uh, we say, guardian protector. So this is another meaning of that. Yes. So and the one who is. you know observing with the intention to protect, protect yes. okay wal yawm allazina amanu min al-kuffar yadhaqun 
Okay, so al yawm. Al yawm means today. And Allah is, subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about the day of judgment. So he is referring to that day, like today. Amanu, alladina amanu. Those who have iman. Alladina amanu min al kuffar. From the kuffar. Yad hakun. We had this word before. You uh, laugh, yeah? You laugh. Ah. So today, the mu'mineen, they will be laughing oh. at the kuffar. Yes. Oh, no. ah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, uh, you know, telling this as a good news also to the mu'mineen that you are not wrong. You are being hurt today in this world. But inshallah, a day is coming when you will be laughing at them. فَالْيَوْمْ So today, الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Those who have iman مِنَ الْكُفَّارِ يَدْحَكُونَ They will be laughing at kuffar. فَالْيَوْمْ will be that day or today? Today. Then that day, right? Hmm? Then that day. Or then, uh, uh, actually, الْيَوْمْ uh, If you just remove fa, it is means today. Today. الْيَوْمْ is today, but what does fa do? When, when then, 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 then today. Uh, then today. And you can say then on that day because it's the same thing is referring to mm -hmm. the day of judgment. And if we remove Alif Lam from Al Yom, just Yom, it means day. any day. Any day, yes, a day. Yad Hakun, you said, is laughing, right? Yes, laugh. But Ya, what is the significance of Ya? In Yad Hakun. No, this is the mudare, this is the fail of mudare, present tense. So this is the addition for always mudare. Okay. Whenever we make any, like you say, I'm drinking, he is drinking water. You say in Arabic, yashrabu. Right? If he is eating, you say, yakulu. So ya, it comes in the beginning of the present tense in Arabic. Like yes. yad hakun, tad hakun. Yes. Right? Those yes. Those, those, those yes. Right. yes. 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 Conjugation. Right. Yeah. Then ta will be you. Right. Ya will be he. Correct. Ah. They. Okay. Or they. Actually, this is the they. plural. Oh. So over here you will translate they. they. And if we nad hakun. Ha. Ah, if nad we say we are laughing, nad haku, not nad hakun. Nad haku. Nad haku. If you want to listen all 14, I was telling him yesterday there are 14. So it will start with Yadhaku. Yadhaku, he is laughing. Yadhaku, Yadhakan. They two men are laughing. Yadhakun, they three or more, they are laughing. So this is Yadhakun. Then Tadhaku, she, a woman, is laughing. Tadhakan, these two women are laughing. Yadhakna, those three or more women are laughing. Then Tadhaku, you a man is laughing. Tadhakan, you two men are laughing. Tadhakun, you all men are laughing. Tadhakin, you a woman is laughing. Tadhakan, you two women are laughing. Tadhakna, you all women are laughing. Adhaku, I am laughing. Nadhaku, we are laughing. This is Yad Okay. Alal araik. Alal yaraik. Yes. We we had this ayah last Sunday also, right? Alal means on. Reclining. On reclining sofa. Araik is couches. Yeah, couches and very comfortable bed. You know, couch or bed. So the mu'minin. They will be sitting on the couches in the Jannah, Yanzurun, looking. And like they will be watching. Will be looking watching. At, uh, Watch. So the word it is from Nazar. Nazar in Urdu also we use it, Nazar, a vision. Mm -hmm. So they will be looking at those, uh, they will be looking around everything and they will be looking at Kuffar also. Mm -hmm. So it also. Gives us the idea that sometimes Mumini in those who will be in the Jannah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them the access to look at the kuffar, what is going on with them in the Jahannam. Okay? So when they will be looking at them, they will say, 
هل ثوب الكفار ما كانوا يفعلون هل ثوب okay now hal is for question this is a interrogative particle like in english we say is are when we you know bring it in the beginning mm -hmm. what who where or uh, where so this is got interrogative particle questioning marks so hal is a question mark suviba it is from sawab sawab means reward mm -hmm. or recompense mm -hmm. okay kuffar is kafir Mm -hmm. So the mu'minin, when they will be sitting in the jannah on their couches and will be looking at those kuffar, so they will, it, you know, it will be an automatic question, a natural question in their mind. So today, do the kuffar are, you know, have uh, been recompensed or uh, compensated. They are compensated for what they, their actions, their actions what mm -hmm. they were, have been doing. ما كانوا يفعلون يفعلون to do something what they used to do yeah mm. yeah they used to do yes I mean, also question here when yeah. people who will be in Jannah inshallah when mm. they are looking at those people will mm. they know mm. that this is the time they were laughing at us those events will be there or it's just like a general punishment which Gen will be visible you know general punishment punishment will be there it will be visible but it will they will recall also all okay. those events Oh, they were laughing in this in the world uh, for for this, this time for that time and they brought up this issue and they make a fun of all of us mu'mineen so everything will be fresh in the memory Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, to make mu'mineen more satisfied people who trouble like especially the Makkans who troubled Muslims mm -hmm. at that time, mm -hmm. and they converted to Islam. Yes. You know, when Makkah was conquered, mm -hmm. are all those things written off, or those will be punishments still due to them? No, no, no. If they have become Muslim, yeah. Alhamdulillah, then uh, mm -hmm. the, everything is forgiven. But Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is talking about generally about the kuffar, <coughs> and this is the situation before they became Muslim. So, Alhamdulillah, after these ayahs, so many of them, they were guided. Okay? But again, there were so many who still, he did not accept Islam or Iman. Right? They died like Abu Jahal, Abu Lahab, Utba, Mughira, so many, 70 big leaders of the Quraysh, they have been killed in the Battle of Badr. And later on also, they came back in uh, the Battle of Uhud time. And then they came back again at the Ghazwa Khandaq, mm -hmm. right? And generally it is universal, like Quranic message is universal. So it will continue throughout all the ages till the end of the world. So whenever Kuffar will be present at this time also, we are seeing that all these uh, enemies of Islam, the forces, evil forces, they are making conspiracies, they always bring up the issues and they try to make the fun of Muslim people. Sometimes they bring the issue of the Quran, they bring the issue of Rasulullah Wasallam. Just look at uh, those cartoons they have made about our Prophet Wasallam, and uh, they know whatever they did, they are laughing, you know, uh, on those things. So this is the same expression. So the literal meaning of Hal is will or mm. have? Have. Have the disbelievers mm. to receive their compensation so, for their actions. Yes. So, so Kanu is. Uh, ma Kanu uh, used to do. Uh, so ma Kanu. Kan no, but Jafalun is. Jafalun is doing. Right. And ma Kanu used, used to do. What they used to do. Kanu. Ma is what? Yes, Ma mm. is what. Kanu used to. Jafalun do. Yafalun is just like Yadhakun is Mudare. Right. Right. So whenever Mudare, it comes with Kana. Like Kana Yafalu. Kanu Yafalun. It means used to do. Fala is the root. Yes, Fala is the root. Yes. Like in uh, Urdu also we say Fail, mm -hmm. action. To do something. Right. To do something, action. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is the right. Okay. Now I, 
again i would like to advise you to print those pages hmm? of tajweed notes yeah ha ah, you have it right <laughs> okay but everyone should have it so these are eight how many pages seven or eight pages uh, actually i printed the whole you thing. printed the whole okay oh, yeah, but maybe. if you just go in the beginning for the makhraj makharij okay i think they should not be more than yes for yeah, the makharij ha ah, one three uh five pages. oh just five pages <laughs> so print five pages and bring them because i want to go over with the mm. makharij with these you know letters that uh, which letter is coming from where so we will do more practice inshallah okay so you have, have breakfast you have breakfast also alhamdulillah rabbil alamin والصلاه والسلام على رسوله وخير خلقه سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين ربنا تقبل منا انك انت السميع العليم وتب علينا انك انت التواب الرحيم او الله سبحانه وتعالى بليز اكسبت اور جادرنج اوف ذا قران او الله سبحانه وتعالى انكريز اس ان اور نالج او الله سبحانه وتعالى جيف اس ذا توفيق تو بيتر انڈرسٹینڈ اوف ذا قران اند ذن bring the quran in our life oh allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq to live our life up to the quran oh allah give us the tawfiq to recite the quran properly and accurately oh allah subhanahu wa ta'ala please forgive our sins oh allah grant all of us your maghfirah kamila oh allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our masjid bless all the families who are living around the masjid oh allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq to all the muslim people to come to the masjid to attend the prayers amen ya rabbal alamin wa sallallahu ta'ala ala khair khalqihi sayyidina wa nabiyyina muhammadin wa alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin